I have a major announcement to make today, and that is that I am launching a Kickstarter campaign, and I would love you to be a part of it. It's a graphic novel about the Second Punic War. Yes, you know, the one with Hannibal and the elephants and taking on the might of Rome in her own backyard, that sort of thing. Well, it's, it's, it's that. It's an epic story. Now, a chap called Chris Steininger came to me and he said that uh, he had this dream of making a graphic novel on this topic. He'd had it for years. And would I help him as his historical consultant? He'd seen some of the Lindy Bay stuff and thought possibly I would be uh, suitable. And I said, well, maybe I'm not really an expert on the Carthaginians per se, but yeah, I, I'm, you know, I know quite a bit about the ancient world. Maybe I can help you. Um, anyway, we had a Skype session. It went on for quite some while. We hit it off immediately. And within about two hours of that session, he wrote an email to me saying, do you know what? How about this? You write it. I'll do the pictures. Let's do it. 50-50 collaboration. What do you say? And I said, wow. And cutting a long story short, I said yes. Uh, though I was quite aware of the magnitude of the task I was taking on. So for the last several months, I've been reading up history books and taking lots of notes and gearing up to writing the story of this epic war. It's an 18 year long war. It has loads and loads of characters in it. Uh, and I've got to somehow condense the plot in an interesting way and get it into a book. Writing for a graphic novel is a lot like writing a screenplay for a film. And I've always wanted to write a screenplay for a film, but whereas if I wrote a screenplay for a film, it probably wouldn't be made, this, all going well, if you enough of you back it, will actually be made. So, um, for the Kickstarter campaign, I made a promotional video which follows this announcement. And uh, so, watch it and do be aware that, you know, when I sort of point at you and ask you to buy stuff, I, I'm a... I'm a a bit aware that I'm being a little bit cringy and so forth and salesman like, but you know, um, these things have got to be done if you're going to, you know, try to get people a call to action, I believe it's called. Uh, and, you know, I thought I would do this because you only live. Is it, is it once? No, it's twice. Why am I thinking? Oh, that's the Bond film. Right. Yes, you only live once. You only live once. Well, I really better get on with it then. This project is a graphic novel about a man who many scholars believe was the world's greatest ever general. Now, you may have heard of Hannibal Barker, and you may know that he was the man who took the elephants over the Alps, for instance, but that is one tiny detail in an epic struggle between Rome and Carthage over which of these two great powers would rule the ancient world. My name is Chris Steininger, and I am the illustrator on In Search of Hannibal. This is a project that I've been really dying to do for probably 15 years, for a really long time. I've just been sort of it's been cooking uh, in the back of my mind. I've really been wanting to do this. And uh, through a crazy kind of turn of events, uh, now I have uh, Nicholas Lloyd on board, which is perfect. And he was the missing link. And now, with him in the picture, it's, uh, we're ready to proceed and, and go ahead and finally bring this to life. It's set across North Africa, Spain, Italy, Gaul, and it has a cast of hundreds of thousands, and there will be battles, many, many battles, including perhaps the greatest of them all, Cannae. And we have an excellent nemesis for our main character in the person of Scipio Africanus. I've been reading lots of books and taking lots of notes. There are so many absolutely extraordinary things that happen during this war that I don't have to make stuff up. I don't have to get fantastic. I can just take the most interesting things from history and pack them all into this story. It will be packed. The, the Romans got phenomenally desperate when they tried to beat Hannibal. They started arming their own slaves and promising them their freedom, rather duplicitously, if they just went over there and beat Hannibal. Do you think that worked well? Uh, they started human sacrifice in the middle of the forum. They sent teenagers with pointed sticks, javelins, up against charging elephants. I think the most amazing thing that people don't know about this war is that Hannibal's army roamed around Italy in Rome's backyard, behind enemy lines, out of supply for 15 years. And in all that time, the Romans never caught him and never beat him. This will be a graphic novel, not a history book, though the history in it will be accurate and you will learn about the story of the amazing Second Punic War. You will also be following the characters and hearing them speak to each other as humans. It's a bit more like a film, if you like, but one that actually pays some attention to history, unlike, well, films. My schedule is very clear, so this will be kind of my number one thing uh, that I'll be working on. You can keep me locked down here uh, with a chain to my leg and I will basically not be leaving this room, which sounds sort of sad, but to me actually sounds kind of awesome. 
Now, it will take a long time for Chris to draw all the pictures and get them just right. And that's what we want, isn't it? For him to get them just right and to put oomph into them, passion into them. Now, you may be, you may be a mean-spirited sort of person who takes pleasure in the thought that he'll be warming his fingers next to a candle to get enough strength in them to draw the next picture as he makes it through a long winter of toil. But come on, that's not what we really want. We want him to eat heartily and put passion into the project and, and you know, draw pictures like this. Like, I mean, just look at him. Just, just, ah! I don't have to write a bit of dialogue for this, this Celt saying, ah, do I? Because just look, I mean, that just says, ah! So we want him to put oomph into it. We want him to eat heartily so that this project gets made and gets made quickly and you get your book and this wonderful tale gets told. So it's just win, win, win. So come on, back the project. One of the things that gave me confidence in this project and got me to say yes to it was Chris's impressive track record in illustrating. He's done graphic novels before, so he knows exactly how much work uh, is required. And he's done a lot of other stuff too. He's done storyboarding for movies. You may have heard of The Avengers Assemble. Uh, he's done work on video games. You may have heard of Spec Ops The Line. Well, um, it's possible that he was the guy more than anyone else who put the the cool dark and weirdness into that game. He's worked for Games Workshop on its, its games, he's worked on Dungeons and Dragons stuff, and he's done lots and lots of comics. So I thought, this guy knows what he's doing, I just hope I know what I'm doing. I've never really commercialised, I mean I don't actually sell these shirts, I don't do t-shirts or American rounders hats or, or even badges, although possibly I should. Uh, but anyway, this this is the actual thing that I'm actually trying to, to sell. for to, to, The first time ever, I think, on Lindy Beige, I'm actually trying to sell you something. So, um, yes, go on, follow the link. Go on, follow the link. Now, I will be making other videos about the Second Punic War, about Hannibal, about the nature of graphic novels, uh, about all sorts of things connected with this project. But don't worry, this is not going to become the Hannibal channel. Lindy Beige will still carry on as Lindy Beige, and I'll be tackling other topics. Uh, but I, you know, I think it, I'd be a fool not to at least use this as a springboard for a lot of discussions of this amazing war, the Second Punic War. Uh, so, um, look forward to more vid videos on this topic, and also please be understanding that this is going to take up an awful lot of my time. So in the near future, don't expect many heavily effect-laden uh, videos or ones that are deftly edited from footage from a thousand museums from around the world that I've gone and seen, because those videos take just too long to do, and I'm busy... I'm writing a graphic novel! <laughs>